got my crock pot set to high and I've sliced them so that they're individuals. And we're using Sweet Baby Ray's Honey Barbecue Sauce and this is an 18 ounce bottle. I put a little bit of water into this because it's really thick and doesn't all come out. So I put a little water in it, maybe a half a cup probably, and to get all of it. Okay. So I add two teaspoons of Worcestershire sauce. Mm -hmm. A teaspoon of vinegar, apple cider vinegar. We're going to use two tablespoons of brown sugar. You're going to pack the spoon down tightly. I just put it in there and squeeze. Come out with about like that. It's two tablespoons, more or less. Okay. So we have two tablespoons of brown sugar. And we're going to put in one teaspoon of oregano. Okay. More or less. Now we're going to kind of stir them up to make sure they're all covered. Sometimes I just use my... I'm just going to put a little bit of salt and pepper over them, however much you think you like. This I'm, I'm using kosher salt. I like that. But, okay, go. I'm going to be using this pan lining paper. It's, it's parchment paper on one side and aluminum on the other. And I'm torn off a little bit. I'm going to make a pan out of it, push it down on top of the ribs for now. I've noticed I've put the parchment on the bottom and the aluminum on the top because I wasn't sure how the aluminum would react with this acidity in the rib sauce. I was afraid it might react, so that's what we're doing there. Now I've got about a half a stick of butter. I'm going to pour that over this potatoes. It's probably about two, two and a half pounds of red potatoes. They were pretty good size and I chopped them up to bite size. And then I'm going to take virgin, extra virgin olive oil and I'm just going to sprinkle that over the top. Maybe probably it looks like two or three tablespoons. And then we're going to salt that. Now I have parsley flakes and I'm just going to sprinkle those over the top. Probably maybe a tablespoonful. I'm just going to kind of sprinkle until it looks like it'd be enough. be pretty. Now I'm going to be putting some garlic powder. And I'm not sure how much... Oh! <laughs> make, sure you, make sure you open up the right side. See, there are two sides. There's this side, <laughs> and then there's the sprinkle side. The sprinkle <laughs> side. The rains of pores. Oh, okay, I'm going to clean. Oh, we have our potatoes now, and they have the butter, the extra virgin olive oil, and uh, I washed off all the, most of the parsley, so I am going to put a little bit more of that on. Okay, and now we're going to make sure we have the right side before we do it, we're going to make sure it's on the right side and sprinkle probably a good teaspoon. <laughs> now I'm just going to get in here and stir it around so it's all covered with butter, olive oil, garlic powder, and parsley, and I don't think I've put any salt on it yet. I need to put salt and pepper. I put a little bit of pepper. Hmm. Okay, and kosher salt. If I'd have done that a while ago, I wouldn't have had to stir this twice, but sometimes I'm in a hurry. Okay, so that looks good. It's all mixed up. Now we're going to put it in our nest that we made in the bowl. And make sure all the good stuff's in there. And that even smells good. Yes. Put the corners together. I'm trying to seal it up, and we're going to stick it over to one side, like that. Now, on this side. 
Okay. I have a like a half a pound of half a bag of peas. Uh, I have mushrooms. Just poured the water off of them. Okay. We're just gonna cut some up. Put it over the top. It'll probably be two or three tablespoons. I'm kind of like they never have too much butter. This is garlic powder. Okay. And now we're going to make a bowl out of it. We've made a nest. Now we're going to fold all, all, all the corners in and make sure it's kind of sealed. It'll cook from the steam. In the crock pot. Now just smash that down. Put your lid on. I have it set to high and I'll let it cook for six to eight hours. Um, if you want to cook at eight hours, I'd probably put it on low. But it's now two o'clock in the afternoon, so I'll turn it on high and get it going. Thank you. Bye.